This just popped up on my timeline. Allegedly, there's some new Crystalia allegations out here. But I don't know how seriously we should take this because this lady or this person, um, I don't know if this is a real account or something. What do you guys think? What do you think is going on here? So there's this account I'm going to post for you here. It's from an account called Caroline Georges. If this is a person, right? It's called Caroline's Body. Um, the, the bio is got that good girl faith and a tight little skirt. Cool. And if you scroll down, there's a poster that says my official statement about Chris D'Elia. But if you also scroll down their tweets, it seems that like they talk about Chris a lot on here. I need a restraining order against Chris. All I'm asking is that the claims to be corrected by Chris D'Elia. I'm thoroughly investigated by anyone who wants to know the truth. Any and all the attempts to bring media attention to our experience about Chris, but Chris D'Elia has been shut down. I want to respond from Chris D'Elia and his accomplice, Anthony Amorello. Who's Anthony Amorello? Who the fuck is that? Who still works at the comedy store? Who is Anthony Amorello, comedy store? Who is that? Exactly, Coyle. It seems a bit botty, isn't it? I didn't want to say it. It seems a bit botty. It's giving, it's giving chat GPT. Something about it seems odd. Okay, this this is Anthony Amarello that this person's saying is also involved. Huh? This, uh, this hunk of a man is also involved. Let's see. So, what's been said here? Let's go to the statement itself, right? Um, let's see here. So, oh, that's a lot of text, boy. Fucking hell. I'm going to have to read a lot, aren't I? Has it been deleted already? No, it's not, has it? Hold on, let's go back to post. Bear with you a second here as I get it to load up. Alice, oh, Alice Hamilton Burner. You think it's Alice Hamilton Burner? That's be funny. Alice Hamilton. No, I don't think Alice Hamilton will have a burner, man. She she lets it fly from her main account with her face. Do you know what I mean? Like, with her full name on there, man. She's not going to get a bio. She lets her nuts hang for real. She's a real one. I don't think she's going to want to have a bio. Come on, man. Why isn't it stop fucking loading? Please, don't be dumb. Okay, let me just re- I refresh the screen or wait for it to load. Refresh the screen. When I did it, it fucking loads. Of course it does. So bear with me a second here while I get it up. Let's just click the tweet here. Let's read a statement. It's a big block of text though, so please bear with me as I try and read through this um, official statement by Caroline Georges about at Chris D'Elia. Let's see what this is all about. Because I just saw this pop up on my timeline, so let's see what the deal is. Maybe I'm missing something on here. So, what is it saying here? Come on, load. Okay, cool. Instagram. Fuck, that's a lot of text in it. Jesus Christ. Anyway, let's read this. Instagram, Ant Murillo, 2.2K followers. There is currently an... What? There is currently an investigation into Crystalia being contacted by the Human Sex Div- Trafficking Division of the LAPD. <laughs> Is that actually a thing? Do they have a human traffic? Do they have a human sex traffic in division in the LAPD? I'm assuming that's right, but it's just the way it's written. It makes me laugh. <laughs> People say honestly, for all you guys, I think Chris Lea got away with it. Is this getting away with it? Even if this isn't true, all of these accounts, all of these stories keep popping up about you randomly. This is meant to be a big week for Chris, or a big couple of weeks, right, with the special dropping and shit. He didn't get away with shit, bruv. This is like, it's never going to end for him. He's going to go, unfortunately, to his grave with people just talking about this. They're never not going to talk about this. If this is your, if this is getting away with it, pff, I don't want this. As, as fucking Fia Vaughn once said, I don't want that. Um, anyway, it continues. Anthony Amarello, sorry, Anthony Amarillo, right? Amarillo is one witness that was co- co- that has occurred as he is Chris D'Elia's accomplice to the sex crime against me. I was sexually assaulted on camera three times and D'Elia has it all on video. I hope you can understand why I will stand on this hill until I die on it. Until Chris D'Elia, my abuser, is brought to justice, damn it. I'm not playing with you. I want a restraining order. 40k that Chris Lee has yet to pay me for the content I made for him. Financial restitution to pay for my mental health care and care that this way need to fully heal from what Chris Lee has put me through. If Chris Lee did what he did to you, why would you want him to pay for your mental health care? That's odd, isn't it? Surely if you if you're getting mental health care, you mental health care, 
you want nothing to do with the person that inflicted that pain on you to for you to need to care in the first. Why do you want them to pay for it? That's an odd request. I'm not backing down because my abuser said he's never met me. Well, I say fuck no to that. Tell you what, my life will be significantly different should I never have met Crystalia, which is not. My life now is not is what it is because Crystalia chose me to be his target for individual harassment and abuse. It's a weird line. Um, there are witnesses in Crystalia's inner circle who know I'm telling the truth. I beg them to come forward and to help me prove Crystalia abused me. That's never happening. These guys, if there's one thing they don't do, is they don't call out each other's abuse because they all are probably abusers behind the scene. That's what I've kind of figured out over the time of covering a lot of this stuff. A lot of these comedian guys, the reason why they don't call out each other's degenerate behavior is because they all get up to degenerate behavior in their own little spaces and shit um that's just my theory on it right now i have the evidence that i have in or maybe the the actual real truth of it is that they don't care maybe they don't do the de degenerate shit but they just really don't give a fuck um that could also be very scary to see but anyway right now i have the evidence that i have in the form of one witness that witness is anthony amorello who acted as chrysalia as accomplice Please go to the Instagram link I provided and let Anthony know I need him to come forward to the police immediately. Why aren't you messaging yourself? Why do you want us to do it? I would expect no less from him. His Instagram handle is at Ant Amorello and he says he's a comedian, but trust me, he's not the father. What? What a weird line. I will accept no less from him. His Instagram handle is that. He says he's a comedian, but trust me, he's not a f the father. Yo, was this written by ChatGPT? Like, this sounds... Why is this all over the place? Kind of odd. He has a covert... He has a coveted position working as a doorman and hence a comedy store protege being that he fucking sucks at stand-up. I've been through hell and earth attempting to get accountability from Chris Leah. I have long since reached my limit. I need justice now. I need justice yesterday. I need justice last year. Crystal is my abuser. He just so happens to be famous. But who the hell gives a fuck? Remember thou art only a man. Crystal is a man who made his choices. Let him face the consequences. Crystal karma is named Caroline, y'all. And I'm going to be a bitch until. Honestly, what the fuck is this? Is this real? Or is this a psyop? Is this some sort of op that they're running? Like purposely put out this like weird story in the hope that people latch onto it. It gets proven to be false. And then Chris can play the victim. Oh, hey guys, see, you just believe anything. That was actually, you know I mean? is that, is this part, it's like a weird psyop. Like what's going on here? Hmm. Anyway, the demands or the list of here. Um, I'm granted a restraining order from the Los Angeles court against Crystalia. Um, they say <laughs> restraining orders are weird ones, aren't it? To use as a as a form of like evidence that someone did something bad to you. Because I've heard people say restraining orders are really easy to get. Like you can get a restraining order out against anybody. You don't have to prove anything to get a restraining order. Really? Is that what I've, that's what I've heard? I'm not sure if that's the tr truth. But I remember reading that online that restraining orders are easy to obtain. Um, I need recognition from law enforcement that Crystal Leah has been in danger to me. Hence, award me a legal piece of paper that ensures that Leah um, will not harass me both physically or online from now on. Hmm. Crystal Leah pays the 40k he owes me for the content I made for him. As well as the additional restitution to be provided for my mental health treatment needed to cover the hill from what Crystal Leah has put me through. OnlyFans is made <laughs> OnlyFans is made aware of what happened to me via the website. Acknowledges that the numerous other women who have experienced similar instances of exploitation like I have. Crystal Leah's children are proven to be safe and protected by child protection services, as they are currently in the care of a rapist of a Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> Crystal Lee's children are proven to be safe and protected by child protective services as they are currently in the care of a rapist of teen girls and a woman who enables a rapist of teen girls. Yo, she is letting it go. Crystal Lee's children should be removed from his care 
and arrangements from them to be raised by our mothers, parents, or other such relatives should be made immediately, before it's too late. Crystalia's children are clearly being used as props to aid the promoting Crystalia's public image. I agree with that. Um, as being somebody he is not. And their need of real love parents is not met in their home that they are sharing a dangerous abuser like Crystalia. Crystalia had his children out of necessity and a desire to be viewed as a loving parent. Huh. Not love or desire to actually be a loving parent. I believe his children are in danger of, of being victims to their father's abusive nature. I do not believe Chris is that he is capable of feeling genuine love towards anyone, including his children. I think that's a bit much. I think he actually loves his kids, to be fair. Um, in, maybe it doesn't come from the bestest places, but I think he actually does love his kids, to be fair. You see how he interacts with his son and stuff. You can tell that's the first time he's actually thought of anybody out of himself. I don't think that's fake, but maybe this person knows more than I do. Jesus Christ, bro. That's a massive text. And look at that. <clears throat> Next slide. Okay, thank God. There's only two, a couple of lines. Um, should alarm the services from whom you're taking election, interest of the man. Thank you for your time. So who's, who's, who's this meant to be for? Is this meant to be for the public? The police? I don't know. Is this person real? I guess they are, right? Who the fuck is Caroline Georgies? Let's go on the media. I don't want to go on a Twitch because that's going to take ages to load up on my account, so please bear with me. Let's see if they've got any pictures of themselves here. Let's see. Anything? Okay, no pictures. Like Loads of memes. No pictures of themselves. I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Is this real or not? What's the theory on the what's the theory in the chat? What do you guys think? It's a bit all over the place. I don't know what to believe. This negative tension surely won't help you, but he's meant to help you exactly. All text never a good sign. Zachary Space Kai to someone's kids when they live in the Beverly Hills mansion. So exactly. <laughs> Take them away from their father. He doesn't love them. And they go to the house and it's like three floors, seven G-Wagons outside, a maid, <laughs> a big bouncy castle in the back, a trampoline. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> Seems real. Okay, cool. Hmm. Exactly. Um, exactly. What's that? Sorry, but I would never confront an abuser like this. Fuck accountability. I'm just trying to get away from him. She's doing too much. Yeah, I don't know. It could be real. It's just a weird way to come to come to like address it. You know, it's just a weird way to address it. Because I don't really know who this is meant for. This bit of this this statement. Like, who is this for? Was this something that she sent officially to the police and then just shared it online for people to read? Is it meant for civilians? Is it just an is it just a, an open letter? Like what is that? What is that? Don't call me female. Call me female X. My that why is daddy issues the only way to describe a woman's attachment style? Men have daddy issues too. Boys need to be raised by dads as much as what girls do, and likely more. Girls with daddy issues may become sluts. However, guys with daddy issues become Andrew Tate. Okay, I guess there are many single and singleless children out there, women. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to say about this. Um, interesting comments here. Nothing too surprising when it comes to Crystalia. And to be fair, in the Crystalia sense of things, like I said before, I think anybody out there thinking he got away with it, I think you are smoking that really bad stuff because if this is getting away with it, then this isn't a life that I would want to live because he's going to be constantly reminded of his alleged crimes until the day he dies. Nothing will ever... Um, change that really and if anything the career he had before will never ever be like it, it, it's almost you can say with almost a level of certainty that he's never ever going to have that career back again isn't it because there's always a period in time I feel like when some people get cancelled but they have like a little bit of a you know people kind of forget and they move on and they can kind of come back but I don't think I, I think there's more chance Brian goes back into Hollywood mainstream Hollywood than Chris D'Elia. 
even though Brian got accused, what do you think is worse to get accused of? Diddling or rape? Both are equally as bad, but what, what would what would be the one thing that you'd think would stick more? I think diddling, isn't it? Personally for me. I think diddling will stick way more than rape. Because people could I don't think they'd move on, but like enough time could pass where they might forget about it. But I don't think they could ever forget about these allegations that allegedly you may have done, done stuff with underage girls. You know what I mean? Which he obviously maybe didn't, who knows? But I just don't think you can shake that kind of thing off. It's not something you shake off too easily. So that's the problem that Chris Lee has. He's never going to have that career back again. So that's, so, you know, he's never fucking, you know, that's not getting away with it, in my opinion. That seems like, a, like hell on earth. So, yeah, that was a new little account that I saw there regarding Crystalia. What are you guys saying in the stream chat?